Welcome back, Desert Rose here, and I have another word from our lovely Daddy God. I'll start with the personal prophetic, then the scripture, then the main event. Alright, let's go. God says, I'll send my peace, and it will overcome any sorrow. God says, some of my children are not nearly praying enough. Keep praying. God says, the famine is coming, stuck up on his leading. God says there's someone broken hearted. He says go to him and he will help you. But it's still a process. Isaiah 26 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they tr trust in you. Psalm 29 11. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. John 14 21. Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. I do not give you. To you, as the world gives, do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Hebrews 12.14 Make every effort to live in peace with everyone, and to be holy without holiness, Not no one will see the Lord. 1 Corinthians 13.11 Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice, strive for the full restoration, encourage one another, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace be with you. First Peter 3.11 They must turn from evil and do good. They must not seek, they must seek peace and pursue it. Philippians 4.7 And the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Jesus Christ. Psalm 4, eight. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, makes me dwell in safety. Second Thessalonians 3.16 Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times, and in every way the Lord will be with you. Philippians 4, 9. Wherever you have leaned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. Colossians 3, 15. Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart, since the member of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Romans 5, 1. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 8, 6. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. My dearest children, I want to give you my peace. It is a gift for you because I love you and I rather you be in peace than in strife. So ask for my peace daily as it is for you for the taking. Once you are in my peace, you'll be able to easily Help the people I send your way. Keep moving forward with me. With all my love, Daddy God, peace be with you. Thank you, God, for placing this in front of all who need to hear it. If you feel led to sow into the ministry, click the link in the description box below. Not all words are for you, but if you feel it is, taste the Lord for guidance. Like, share, and subscribe. I am offering free prophetic word. Email me at desertrose6655 at gmail.com and prayer. And we'll see you next time. Bye.